Imagine your soil working harder than ever while you're asleep, quietly building fertility, boosting microbial life, and naturally protecting your garden from pests. That's the power of secret ground cover plants. Plants that don't just sit there, but actively feed your soil overnight. Today, I'm going to show you exactly which plants do this, how to plant them correctly, and how to integrate them into your raised beds so your garden thrives with minimal effort. Most gardens slowly lose nutrients over time, even if you're fertilizing regularly. Nitrogen depletion, reduced organic matter, and declining microbial life can quietly sabotage your harvest. Cover crops and companion plants are the solution. They work as natural soil builders, fixing nitrogen, stimulating beneficial microbes, suppressing weeds, and improving soil structure and moisture retention, all without demanding constant attention. These sleeping soil feeders are essentially the gardeners you never have to pay, and their benefits show up in healthier plants, better yields, and fewer pest problems. Clover The Silent Nitrogen Factory White and red clover are exceptional at quietly enriching your soil. Once planted, clover fixes nitrogen directly from the air and deposits it into the soil, naturally feeding whatever grows nearby. To get the best results, sow one ounce of clover seed for every 10 square feet of soil. Scatter the seeds evenly across the surface, lightly cover them with soil, and water gently. The soil should remain moist, but not soggy for the first 10 days until seedlings emerge. Clover can be planted in early spring or fall, either in empty beds or between rows of established crops. Its low growth habit allows it to coexist without shading out smaller vegetables, and over time, its dense root system improves soil structure while attracting earthworms and beneficial insects. Buckwheat is another star for your garden. It grows incredibly fast, covering bare soil in just a few weeks while attracting pollinators and beneficial insects. For optimal results, use one pound of buckwheat seed per 100 square feet, planted in any gaps between your main crops. As it grows, buckwheat roots break up compacted soil, and when cut before flowering, the biomass adds a rich organic layer to your beds. Buckwheat also suppresses weeds naturally, reducing competition for your main crops. Timing is important. Sow buckwheat after the soil warms in late spring or early summer, giving it enough growth before the first frost. Hairy vetch is a powerhouse for building nitrogen and organic matter. Plant a quarter to half a pound per 10 square feet in areas you want to rejuvenate, ideally in the fall. Vetch grows quickly and produces a dense mat that smothers weeds and enriches the soil. Cut it back in early spring and incorporate it directly into the soil as green manure two to four weeks before planting your main crops. The result is a soft, nutrient-rich soil that retains moisture and encourages robust root growth for whatever you plant afterward. Vetch's climbing habit also allows it to intermingle with other crops without crowding them, making it perfect for multi-layered garden beds. Oats act as both a winter cover and a soil conditioner. They prevent erosion and build biomass that feeds the soil when decomposed. Sow two to three pounds of oats per 100 square feet in fall. Allow them to grow until they reach flowering stage, then cut them down and leave the residue on the soil surface or incorporate it lightly. This method protects the soil during cold months while preparing it for spring planting. Oats are particularly valuable in raised beds that are prone to washing or compaction, giving your soil both structure and nutrient reserves. Mustard is a versatile cover that doubles as a natural biofumigant. Its compounds help suppress soil-borne pests while providing organic matter. You'll want to use about half a pound for every 50 square feet and plant it in fallow spaces or between growing seasons. Cut it back before it seeds and just leave the residue as mulch or work it right into the soil. Mustard's quick growth and dense canopy crowd out weeds while its roots penetrate the soil, encouraging aeration and microbial activity. This plant is especially useful in raised beds that have had pest pressure in previous seasons. 
All right, folks, let's dive into how to integrate ground cover plants into your garden. To get these benefits without disrupting your main crops, you'll want to start by identifying those underutilized areas or sections of your raised beds that could use a fertility boost. Calculate the area and use the exact sowing ratio for each plant. Now scatter the seeds lightly, cover them with a thin layer of soil, and water gently. The soil should remain consistently moist until those seedlings establish. Timing, my friends, is key here. Plant cover crops when your main crops are dormant or in gaps between vegetables to avoid shading or competing for nutrients. Once established, these plants require minimal maintenance. They naturally grow, feed the soil, and suppress weeds without regular intervention. Before planting your next main crop, mow or cut the cover plants and incorporate them into the soil two to four weeks in advance. This transforms them into living compost, releasing nutrients that are immediately available for your vegetables. Now let me share some real results from my garden. In my raised beds, integrating clover, buckwheat, and vetch has completely transformed the soil. The texture is looser, moisture retention is significantly improved, and worm activity has just skyrocketed. Tomatoes and peppers grown after a season of vetch incorporation showed stronger stems and larger fruit. Buckwheat grown in gaps attracted bees and beneficial predators, reducing pest pressure on nearby crops. Oats provided winter protection for my raised beds, while mustard kept soil-borne pests in check. Over time, these sleeping soil feeders reduced my need for synthetic fertilizers, created a more resilient ecosystem in my garden, and even boosted overall yields without extra work. Pretty amazing, right? All right, let's talk about some tips for maximum soil benefits. Rotate your cover crops annually to prevent disease buildup and mix different species to gain diverse benefits. If you're using multiple plants, calculate ratios carefully to avoid overcrowding. After cutting or mowing, allow the residue to decompose on the soil surface or lightly incorporate it. This not only protects the soil, but feeds it continuously, ensuring that each planting season starts with a nutrient-rich foundation. Monitoring soil regularly lets you adjust ratios and planting density to match your garden's needs. It's all about keeping that balance, folks. Well, we've reached the conclusion. Secret ground cover plants are more than just garden fillers. They are hard-working soil enhancers that feed, protect, and improve your soil while you sleep. Clover, buckwheat, vetch, oats, and mustard each have unique benefits, and when used correctly, they create healthier soil, stronger plants, and fewer pests with minimal effort. By integrating these plants strategically into your raised beds, you give your garden a foundation for thriving growth all year round. If you want to see your soil transform and crops flourish naturally, start incorporating these sleeping soil feeders today. Don't forget to subscribe to Soil and Crops Central and share this video so more gardeners can unlock the hidden power of their soil overnight. Happy gardening!